you? I'm doing perfect. How about you? It's good to see you. Jessica. It is the Tuesday before Black Friday. Actually, it's, it's edged into Thursday now with stores Absolutely. opening up. So, so Stuart is here today and going to kind of talk about ways to stay on a budget and kind of be a little bit smarter with your money as we get into the holidays. So we have Black Friday. You know, everybody uh, after Thanksgiving filling themselves with turkey heads <laughs> to the mall and start spending money. And what you want to do is, uh, is you want to have a plan. And, you know, it's been a pretty tough year all around mm -hmm. and a lot of people hurting and uh, a lot of people find money tight. And so this is an opportunity to really make sure that you don't end up way outside of your budget. All right. A lot of people say, I need to stick to a budget, but we don't. So how do you do that? Well, I think the first thing you do is decide how much money you can afford to spend this Christmas. And I would encourage people to, to focus on cash. Look how much money you got actually mm -hmm. in the bank. Uh, and don't don't anticipate you know borrowing money through credit cards and so forth and use that as your budget and then make a list make a list of all the people you're going to buy check presents twice, for huh? check it twice <laughs> uh, and I think you know this, this year it's liable to be kind of tight on cash so uh, I would encourage parents to focus on the kids the kids Chris, Christmas really matters and maybe the parents can create a moratorium mm -hmm. on you know overspending for each other and just say let's focus on the kids because if you overspend to me that present doesn't mean as much if you've got to worry about how to pay for it. Well, and I think it creates a lot of post-holiday stress. Right. And that's not a fun place to be. You really want to start the next year, you know, on an even keel, not having created, <clears throat> not having created additional debt. Okay, next. All right, so uh, I think once you've made that list, you want to stick to the budget. So you want to keep that list with you. It's okay to use credit cards if you're getting miles back or cash back or something like that. But be sure you're tracking the spending on credit cards and, and marking it off against how much money you budgeted for each person on your list. So you want to stick to it. And then I think the last thing is this is a great year to teach giving back to children. So idea. give back. Uh, there are so many people hurting in, in, in this year. Uh, that you have opportunities to give time, mm -hmm. uh, you've got opportunities, to, you can give clothes, you can give food, obviously you can write a check, but, but give back and let's begin to share what, you know, what we have. What a good idea. I think that's a great way to look at it. We all need to try to keep on a budget. Let's see if we can do it this year. This is the year. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, Janice. I'm thankful for you. Thank that's you. one of the things I'm thankful for. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after these messages.